Benowitz, Columbus Dispatch. First quarter, you don't touch the ball. What's it like for a running back who wants to get in the flow of the game to not even touch the ball, and then obviously you exploded after that? Uh, you know, just with Travion being in there, I was super excited to see how he ran, um, just supporting him from afar and just looking at how he progressed throughout the first quarter and the different runs that he had and just how the offense was flowing. So it was pretty successful, and I enjoyed it. Over to the left, Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. I think it was 95 degrees on the field. Did it feel, I mean, is Mississippi any, is it any hotter than this? Uh, definitely, definitely. Some days a little hotter. I think some of my teammates had to get a little bit adjusted. Someone was breathing like super hard, and I was like, it's not even that hot, guys. So uh, I think it wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be for sure. Uh, Coach Day was saying coachability is maybe your thing. Do you pride yourself on that in terms of wanting to get better? Have you always been that way, or do you like, or did you bristle at times and say, no, I'm, I'm already there? Yeah, definitely. I've always been that way. You know, that's how I approach the game. I approach the game in a way that I want to get better. And if my coaches, that's what they're here for, to help me improve and go out and make my game to be better on a day-to-day -day basis. So I listen to it and I go out there and just try to improve every single day. Quinchon, over to the right here. You have Stefan Kreischnick, Cleveland.com. You had the big run last game come mm -hmm. back. How good did it feel to kind of get another chance and, and, <laughs> and break it this time? It was the longest Man. run of your career. Yeah, definitely felt pretty good. I turned around a little bit to see if I had a flag on the play, but I was definitely super excited, so it's fun. Gus Johnson mentioned on the broadcast that you had pulled him aside and said that you were excited to have him call, yeah. call your game. Have you listened to that call yet, and, and why were you excited? I haven't. I have not listened to the call. But just being in a different conference in the SEC, you know, with the announcers and the commentators that we had, and you hear Gus Johnson in the Big Ten, so it's like he's super exciting, the way he commentates the game. And, <clears throat> you know, just having – I wanted to be a part of that experience, so it was super fun. Over to the left, Jeff Gilbert, Press Pros. Wait, Sean, Coach, they just mentioned earlier in here, nobody cares who gets the credit. Um, why, you're new to this team this year. Why, why is that culture like that here? What have you seen? Where did it come from? Man, I think it's the brotherhood. You know, everybody has put blood, sweat, and tears into this program. Everybody has woke up at 5 in the morning to be in the building and train. And it's, it's because you're doing it for the person beside you. It's not you're doing it because of yourself. It's because you're doing it for your brother. And just knowing that I can trust that guy beside me to go out there and he's going to make a play, that's what, we, that's what our culture is and that's what everything is built on. And that's what our foundation is built on. Uh, Quinchon over here to the right. Tim May, Letterman Row. Quinchon, what is your attitude when you – get that ball when you get a pitch when you get the ball in your hands because you seem to like just run with uh i don't know power is one word but just not reckless abandon either you have a purpose in mind but it's almost like you want to fight you know a bit. <laughs> and and plus that the stiff arm it wasn't really a stiff arm just a shove down there mm -hmm. on the defender on the corner when you scored that one touchdown i don't know what just goes into your mind when you when you've got the ball in your hands i think the mindset of me and my teammates as a whole is to play with bad intentions. And I think that's my mindset when I get the ball is to, you know, I'm going to try to, that's my job. I'm going to do my job at the end of the day. I'm going to try to get the first down. I'm going to try to score. So every time I get the ball, I'm going to make the most of it. Uh, over here to the right, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. Quinchon, just you've played three games now in the horseshoe. I guess, can you kind of just reflect on what this experience has been like and how it kind of compares to, you know, some of the things you've experienced in your previous years? Yeah, it's definitely been a super fun experience. You know, I enjoy every single win with my teammates. You know, like Coach Day says, it's not hard to get a win in any football game. So we enjoy the win, and then we'll come back tomorrow and, you know, see how we can improve for the next game. I think this team here as a whole. The weather oh, in the Oxford. Heat. Yeah, compared oh, to Okay, Oxford. the heat. Um, I would say, yeah, it's like I said earlier, it's not that hot. Like, it's, for me personally, it's not that bad. Yeah. And final question for Quinshawn, Noah Weisskopf over here to the right, the lantern. Quinshawn, what, what goes through your mind when you see really 86 yards of open field in front of you? Like, what are you thinking? Score. <laughs> <laughs> That's really my mindset. You know, like, uh, I think when I get the ball, you know, I, I want to give like a big shout out to Coach Lott because the way he teaches the whole room and how we go through progressions and practice and different things when it comes to reading, going through our progressions and reading linebackers, I want to give a big thanks to him because he's helped the whole room improve as a whole. So just going through my progressions and my reads and I've seen the linebackers come out of their gaps and overflow. So it's like I hit it and I was going. Did you glance at the big screen? I didn't, no. I just looked at the crowd and they were going crazy. Great. <laughs> Quinchon, thank you very much. Yes, thank you guys. Hey, folks.